<laughs> What's happening? What's happening? Here's the thing about you people. You don't greet. I just, no, it's too late. I came out with a big smile and I greeted you. You just looked at me like I owe you money. <laughs> and it's a weird thing, because I'm African. I greet, like I greet. That's what we do as Africans. You know, we just greet first. We're like, hello. Uh, you people freak out in the bus. I'm like, hello, everyone. Uh, 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 why is he talking to us? Bah. <laughs> Like you people call each other all kinds of things, like without greeting. I am one car. <laughs> what? There's no African that will call someone a wanka without greeting. Like it's unheard of. Like I would have to, you know what I mean? Like as Africans, we greet first. Hello, how are you? How are the kids? How's work? And you'd be like, ah, oh, no, everything is good. Yeah, I said all of that just to call you a wanka. Yes. <laughs> no way I could just go straight into Wanka without I must let it build up a little bit, make you feel comfortable, then destroy you. <laughs> you guys love the word Wanka, yeah? My preferred word is twat. No, it's just I like the word because it's very onomatopoeic. Because you guys are looking at me going, what the hell is an onomatopoeic? An onomatopoeia is a word that sounds like the word it's describing. Splash. Boom, bang, zoom, vroom, bing. Those are all onomatopoeias. Now you're asking me, how is the word twat an onomatopoeia? I will explain. I believe if someone threw a vagina at you. <laughs> and it hits you in the face. At the point of contact, the sound it would make would be twat. twat. What happened to Johnny? He got twatted in the face. <laughs> it's coming home. Da, da. Too soon, too soon. <laughs> it's ca it's ca it didn't it didn't come home, did it? No, it didn't. Kinda went to France, that's what it happened. That's... <laughs> And it's so crazy because you guys are so happy during the World Cup, just singing his car. I'm like, you know, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not coming. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to break the news to you guys that the World Cup is not coming to England because he was so happy. <laughs> he was so, he was so like, he was just, his car, his, his car his, no, it's, it's not coming home at all. It's not. <laughs> Some of you are upset at me, looking at me, going, we're not going to laugh at that joke, Luiso. Listen, after all the shit you've gone to Africa, you can't take one joke about losing the World Cup. <laughs> it's not coming home, ever. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> it's not gonna come home with Ashley Young, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I love it here, it's nice. When are you guys having another referendum? Ooh. <laughs> can't wait for the referendum. Because for me, the referendum was silly because you guys were trying to leave Europe. It's physically impossible for you guys to leave Europe. You are in Europe. Where are you going to go? Because you are not welcome in Africa. You are not welcome. You are not welcome. You are not welcome at all. Fool me once. <laughs> <laughs> The last referendum South Africa had was 1992. 1992, you know what was in question? Should apartheid end or should apartheid continue? But only white people were allowed to vote. <laughs> <laughs> ah, white people are amazing. I love you guys, I love you. <laughs> but what's going on with Brexit, guys? What's, what's going on? Is there a plan? Are you guys getting out? How are you leaving? <laughs> How are you leaving this place that is physically impossible to leave? <laughs> of course it's impossible, because you can't leave! I, I think this is what happened. This is what you guys, this is what happened, I think. They invited all the European countries to a party. Then Britain had too much to drink. And then at the party, you started cussing out everyone. 
Ah, look at you, you French bastard. Look at you, look at you. You French frog eating bastard. Yeah. And then you look, oh, Italian. Ah, oh, look at this Italian. Ah, pasta eat. Who invited Poland? <laughs> and then you realize you didn't have a left home. <laughs> I think you guys need to be more transparent when it comes to foxes. <laughs> I think you need to tell the world that you have foxes wandering your street. It, <laughs> like, don't let us just find out on the street while minding. <laughs> I think it should be a thing that you talk about casually. We have the queen, London Eye. Oh yeah, foxes for days, foxes. <laughs> Because I was walking through Shoreditch High Street, right? Shoreditch High Street, first world London. What did I see? Fox. But not a fox running away from traffic. The most confident fox I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. This fox was investigating a crime. Like, that's how confident. <laughs> you know when the fox is like, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and so now I'm rolling with my friends, and my friends are like, <laughs> You know, I, I said to my friends, I have to acknowledge this idea of a fox. Because the fox is here now. Like, na like the fox is there. It's a wild animal here now. And everyone is calm. See the way you are calm. Everyone is calm. I'm the only one who's freaked out about this whole issue. <laughs> so now I have to address the issue of a wild animal in first world London. <laughs> so I said to my friends, hey, I don't know much, but I can tell you with confidence that that over there is uh, not a dog. That's not a dog. <laughs> It's not a dog, that over there. it's not a dog, that thing there. <laughs> that is a, my friends are all you so that's a fox. We've got tons of those. <laughs> yeah, tell us before we come, tell us. <laughs> and he looked at me and said, oh, you from South Africa, yeah? You should be used to wild animals. <laughs> then another one friend of mine was like, oh, that's a bit racist. I said, no, it's not. I'm from Africa, we have animals. You people travel to see animals. What's so racist about that? Then I realized you guys, as Britain, have fucked up so much in the world that your racism is like you have another level of racism. Like we have like, you know, like your, the racism you guys discuss and talk about is like that nuance. Mm, is, it, is it? I grew up during apartheid South Africa. Our racism was very, very clear. <laughs> you know what I mean? It wasn't like subtle, there's a gray area. It's like, why can't we go to the beach? Because there's a sign that says no blacks allowed. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Very straightforward racism. I like it. Top of the range. Top shelf shit, man. Like, <laughs> not this nonsense that I'm experiencing in London. Oh, I'm not Japanese. I'm from Taiwan. Bah, bah, bah. Listen, I'm... <laughs> I don't live here. I'm confused. Leave me alone. <laughs> not used to that racism. I'm used to that top range stuff, man. And here's the thing, I don't know how to navigate myself through London because it's so multicultural. I don't know who's going to get offended. I don't know who's, you know, I, I just don't know, you know. But I did find that when it comes to gingers, it's open game. Anyone can, <laughs> no one gives a shit. No one gives a shit. No one, <laughs> no one cares about gingers. Like, you could kill a ginger. You know that, you could kill a ginger. And you'll get to the judge and be like, what happened? I killed the ginger. Judge was like, yeah, but it's a ginger. I mean, what? <laughs> What do they expect you to do? Not kill them. Kill the ginger. Why would you not kill it? <laughs> Anyone from Scotland here? Any Scottish people? <laughs> Scottish people? Yeah, Scottish. Here's the thing, uh, uh, um, Scottish people. Um, stop telling people you speak English. Like... <laughs> You do not speak English at all. I was in Glasgow for a week. I didn't understand a word. <laughs> all I kept thinking was, everyone sounds like a cookie monster. <laughs> <laughs> like if the cookie monster was constipated. <laughs> and I was rolling with my Scottish friend and he wanted me to eat uh, Scottish cuisine. And he... <laughs> He introduced me to this thing called black pudding. <laughs> Listen, my brother, that's not pudding, first of all. <laughs> first of all, I've tasted pudding very far from pudding. Very 
Secondly, can you stop putting the word black in front of all your shitty stuff? <laughs> black pudding, black pool, stop it, stop it. <laughs> I love London, London's cool. Here's a cool thing about London, is that the, the multiculturalism is cool, so I mistake people. Sometimes I bump into a Scottish dude and I think he's Welsh, and he gets upset. Not Scottish, mate, not Scottish, but Welsh, I'm Welsh. <laughs> You're the Irish guy and you think he's Scottish. No, I'm not Scottish, I'm, I'm Irish. And all I want to say is, you are just a white peasant to me, huh? <laughs> like I have no time to put you in brackets. Break you up into categories. I don't have that. Time. I know some of you are offended. You know the same way you punch Africans. Well, I'm punching your right back. Um, <laughs> I went to Blackpool. It's a piece of shit. Um, no, I'm joking. I was in Blackpool, right? And I was doing some shows in Blackpool, and there was a white woman cleaning my room my hotel room. Now, you must understand, I grew up in apartheid South Africa. I grew up in a very unequal society. So this, for me, was never experienced this in my life. There was a white woman cleaning my, oh, I was throwing shit on the floor while she was cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> she was confused, why would you do that? I said, I don't know how long this is gonna last. I don't know if this is ever going to happen again. I'm trying to make it last as long as possible, sorry. <laughs> I was taking pictures. Click. <laughs> Sending it to the family WhatsApp group. <laughs> Everyone's like, you are doing well, my boy. You are doing very well. You guys have been a, a cool crowd. I really enjoyed chatting to you people. So thank you very much for listening to my bullshit. Good night. Thank you very much. Uh,